Hello, I am saddened, saddened to report that um, it would appear that uh, Donald Trump has lost his mind and is now endangering the people of the United States uh, because he's basically pushing for a war with Russia. And I find it very interesting that we give the, um, the leader of North Korea a hard time for threatening to blow us up and attack us and all this. And this is exactly what he's tweeting to Putin and Syria. Now, it would seem to me if I was Putin and the President of the United States was telling me he was going to launch an attack on me, I'd launch an attack on him first. The same thing that we claim we want to do with North Korea. Uh, I don't know what happened to Trump. Part of the reason why I voted for him, he was not going to get involved in Syria. And in fact, he chided uh, Obama for getting involved in, in Syria and dissuaded him, I guess, from uh, launching attacks or whatever the heck it is. And now he's doing the exact same thing. I don't know who got a hold of him, whether it's the, the, the deep state, the New World Order, the bankers, whoever... But I'm telling you that this is not good. This is not good at all. And, and as much as I got on my knees and prayed for his, his election, uh, and as it's turned out that Hillary Clinton is another whack job, the uh, fact of the matter is if I had to do it again, I'd vote for Trump again. But, you know, the candidates were getting, apparently, uh, there's, something, there's something wrong. Um, they are influencing him. Either they threatened him, whatever it is, he's no longer, uh, he's no longer, uh, I think, fit to be president. It hurts me because I don't know who the hell we're going to do if Pence isn't, isn't going to uh, stand and get us involved out of, out of these uh, locking horns with, with Putin. I mean, we've been, we've been on this, this um, collision course with Russia over and over and over again, and unfortunately, most of you people out there are so brainwashed, and you don't understand that Russia has the economy of, of Italy. We have thousands, not thousands, we have, we have hundreds and hundreds of bases around the world. Uh, Russia has one outside of um, uh, Russia, and they're considered the aggressor? What the hell is going on here? I mean... Uh, it's amazing. And, and for people to lightly think about getting into nuclear war, look, I'm pushing 70. If something happens to me tomorrow, I'm not going to weep or beg for more time or whatever the hell it is. But I have children, I have grandchildren, and, and I have friends, and there's a lot of young people who've never had a chance, and, and, and Trump is threatening Putin with an attack? And yet the same people who wanted to impeach um, Trump for the last invasion or attack on Syria are now gung-ho. They're like, um, you know, leading and cheering them on. Maybe, you know, it, could it be that the Democrats are so sick that they want them to succeed? They want a catastrophe so they can get them out of office and they would be willing to risk, uh, you know, millions and millions of, of Americans I mean, folks, all we need is a couple strikes of nuclear weapons to take out our power supply, and, uh, you know, 60, 70, 80 percent of the pe people of the United States will be dead within a year because we don't have food. We don't have the ability to survive. Now, the Russians are tough, tough cookies. They could, sur they could survive. Obviously, this would be cat. There's no winners in a nuclear war. For us, for us to frig around, it's, it's amazing. Then you have the, um, the Chinese would love to walk in and take over everything. I don't think you, you understand that they don't need people anymore. We have so much debt uh, relating to our pension funds, Social Security, and all this. These, these are unfunded things. I mean, the most convenient thing is to take out most of the population, say, hey, we had an accident, and don't worry about it. All these people have bunkers. They're going to survive. The, 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 um, the um, Federal Reserve... All these people are playing us like a, like, a, like a Stradivarius. But, you know, I guess we get the government we uh, deserve because all we care about is our sports, who's winning this, who's, who's screwing who in Hollywood. And that's all that matters to most of you. It's, it's, it's really a, a sad, shallow life. Um, 
and we have you know the ability to um, get back and get our freedoms back. So if you want to raise chickens, you raise chickens. You don't have people, you know, fining you for this or fining you for that. I mean, all we are is a rule of uh, all kinds of laws. And uh, we're just being, we're just being manipulated. And you don't even know it. So anyhow, Mr. Trump, you totally disappoint me. Uh, like I said, uh, maybe you're playing a little cute game here. And you have an agreement with Putin that nothing's going to happen. But the fact of the matter is you're playing with, with a lot of lives in the United States that really uh, don't need this. And over what? Over what? Syria is a great place. The guy has been protecting Christians and Jews over there. And why Israel's giving him a hard time is beyond me. It's totally amazing. The Syrian people had to resolve to fight ISIS. We but we. We never even started bombing ISIS when they were moving the oil out of these, uh, when they stole the oil from the uh, oil fields. It was Russia who started bombing ISIS, not us. They embarrassed us to bombing ISIS. So whatever the CIA is doing or something, it stinks. We're disrupting, <coughs> we're disrupting uh, countries and destroying millions of lives all over the world. And the Russians are the aggressors. Give me a break. Anyhow, I hope we're still alive in a week or two. And I just hope, I hope Trump backs down. I mean, this is sick. This is sick. The last time, it could have been for politics. He had to attack Syria, and he warned the Russians, they're going to get your crap out of there. So Putin understood, but this is, this is getting beyond. And for him, for Trump to make threats using his tweets over a possibility of nuclear war, like I said, if, if, if Putin decided to say, screw this, I'm taking out their boats before they even fire those cruise missiles. Could you blame him? Could you blame him? I mean, you know, Trump takes pride in not letting the enemy know what he's doing. Uh, but to, to even put up a specter of that, of, a, of an attack, you know, with, with super duper weapons, you got to be crazy. Well, good night and God bless. And let's hope, uh, let's hope we survive this mess.